Michael. Oh, look at is that a Blanco? Yes. It has to be. Well, today we are back at the Restore in Albany, New York. So let's go in and see what we can find. All right, let me get my lucky cart. I don't think there's a sale today, but this is all free. Nothing that's really worth getting. All right, let's go back to the hard goods. Let's see what there is. I'm gonna start back here. Let me see if anything pops out. This teapot is different. It's for golf and then it has a trophy. Oh, it says made in England. that say? I can't read it. Hmm. It's ten dollars. Might have to look that up. Let's see about this vase. Yeah. Oh, let me just do that. That's newer. Mass produced. a pitcher. What about this teapot? I like the color on that. Dalton. Oh, it has a crack. Darn it. This one has a ton of craziness made in China. This looks like Navajo. Um, this is one that is mass produced. It had something around the rim. Hmm. For the neck. Is in the case. What about this large votive holder or vase? Oh, it's signed. Let me see what that says. Green and Stevens, West Hartford. $25. I'm going to leave that. All right, nothing down here. That's pretty. And then there's a McCoy, but that has a crack. Look at these. Cumberland Island. Candles by Sandstone. Oh! Sandstone makes those um little critters. $3. I kind of like that. You know what? I'm going to put it in for 3 bucks. I'm doing a pottery sale on whatnot, so make sure you check that out and bookmark it. Oh, here's more pottery. <laughs> oh, it's not. It's resin. I'm at Nora. Hmm. Check out this textured vase. It's more modern, but it's only $3. I oh, know, I kind of like the texture on that. I don't think I could get too much more than that though. Candlesticks. Um, here's some carnival glass down here. Oh, it's not. <laughs> it tricked me. Oh, this is kind of neat. Made in China. Live, laugh, dream. Oh, I like that. No price on it. Creamer and sugar, home. All right. That's Avon. Got this mug. Ooh, I like that. Probably from 1970s. Now oh, it has a trip. Darn it. Okay, I'll leave it there, I guess. Um, oh, we used to have these when we were younger. This down here is Mickey Mouse. Applause, 1985. Um, a lot of scratches on the inside. It's only a dollar. Maybe I could clean that up and I'll see how much it sells for online. Um, if not, I'll put it in the booth. Ooh. Oh, it's art glass. Um, there's no price on it though. Oh, I'll just ask her for a price. I wonder if that glows on the bottom. I wonder if it's antique. Let me see the bottom. 
Um, I don't think it is antique, but I got my black light. No, it doesn't glow. Put it in and get a price on it. Got these little shelf sitters. I like those. It's just a resin though, and they're chipped. Ooh. Oh, that's a Narco. It's attached though. Cute 1976 dish. What about this one? Heart of the Dutch country. <laughs> I do kind of like that. The birds up there looks like the it looks like the Pyrex pattern. These canisters, they're probably made in Germany. I already see a chip. What does that say? Germany. Interesting. Vase or part of a lamp. Hmm. It's different. It's definitely a hobbyist. <laughs> oh, here's a plant hanger. Ooh. We already have one at home. We still have to find um, twine and make the hanger. Let's see about these pewter dishes. Oh, they're not pewter. All right. Um, a dollar each. It's just a homemade wood and well, made in Japan. That's different. Yeah, no price on it. Um, oh, a dollar each. I don't think I could get too much more than that. <laughs> we looked at that last time. Five dollars. Look at this. It has cranes. A lot of crazing on it. Hmm. It's signed and stamped. I heard of that before. Um, five dollars. Hmm. With all the crazing and tiny, tiny, tiny chip right there, I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, I noticed a lot of stuff is chipped. Yeah, look. These are from Things Remembered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was right. It, it has crystal in it, though. Hey, what about these? Hmm. Um, a lady and a man feeding. The neck is repaired. Okay, look at this shelf. All I noticed was the background design. It has fabric. This heavy mirror. Oh, jeez. Yeah, hold that. Oh, I like it. Someone refinished it. I really like it. It's $85, though. So. Hmm. Okay, that'd be good to display um, some dishes, cups and saucers, whatever you want. Well, what do you think that's used for? I was looking at it earlier. No ideas. Stands up. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's, you gotta hold something in between these. I don't know. What does that say? Better sleeping. Made in USA, New Jersey. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, it's vintage. What the heck is... I'm gonna look that up later. <laughs> Let me get my cart. I'm gonna get the lavender color one. <laughs> All right, Michael's already looking. Oh, this one is hard to push. I know, mm -hmm. I saw Christmas and was automatically drawn to it. <gasps> Ooh, <laughs> look at Oh, look how cute that is. Is that the only one? Yeah, there's a Winnie the Pooh. Huh? I'll get one. <laughs> I wish it was a set, but can't always get what you want. Um, here's more Christmas. Ooh, look at it all. Maybe it's over here. Hold on. Let me look through here first. Let's see if there's any shiny bright. It's a little bit older. 
What if it's mercury glass? It feels a little heavy. I'm oh, sorry. Let's see what is in this box. Silver ornaments. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> Two ninety nine for one ornament. Mouse. Oh, that's cute. That's newer though. Some a nutcracker. Nutcracker ornaments. Made in China for four dollars. Let's see about this pottery cup. I do kind of like that for $2.99. Oh look at this set. Oh, it's wood. That's different, and it comes with the uh, cups. Hmm. This one is larger, so there's probably more. Um, that is ten dollars for the set. Don't think I could get too much more than that. Right? They actually have a Halloween section here. Um, I'm not really seeing anything though. What about up here? Oh, look at this. Boyd's Bear. Oh, Bears and Friends. Halloween one. Might sell for more. That one. A big. Um, oh, look at this. This looks familiar to me. What about that? Doesn't it look familiar? Hmm. $4.99, it's $1.49. That looks kind of creepy. <laughs> look at the eyes. The red, I think it's the red eyes. That freaked me out a little bit. The Avaze. Oh, it's a Avon. <laughs> From a distance, I really thought it was a swung vase. This mug right here kind of reminds me of the Mackenzie Child. I feel like it would be signed though. Hmm. Not sure about that. I definitely, definitely feel like it would be signed. Oh, what is it? Ooh, it looks like it has Mother of Pearl. I like that. I think it's wood. Yeah. yeah. Let me pick it up. There's no price on it though. Yeah, I like that. It has a horse. <laughs> ah. Yeah, let's get a price on it. <laughs> Butterfly mug. Pretty sure, pretty sure that's um, Otagiri. Um, it's $2.99 though. I think that's too much for that. Down here, press glass. What about this? I know some of the travel mugs. The ceramic ones, not, uh, I don't know about the plastic. We both grabbed it, made in China. Looked at this vase yet? Guess I have. Ooh, I like it. I oh. believe it's new. All the, all the petals are broken off. Yeah. I do like that though. Michael. Ooh, look it. Is that a Blanco? Yes. It has to be. Is that a crack? I don't know. I don't. Is it just a defect? Until. I don't feel anything. Yay. I'm pretty sure that's Blanco. Yeah. This is the. Uh, good at least we found. I know someone filled it with potpourri. At least we found. Found something here. Something. I don't know if that's a crack or not. I don't think it is. Yay. $2.99. I was coming over here to look at this. Look at. <laughs> its tongue is hanging out. <laughs> I kind of like it. Grandma 1979. Oh, they close at... Oh, they change the time, so they close at 5 now. Well, I don't want to forget that, that, or that. See if we can find any more goodies. It's plastic. What about these clear 
I think they're stemless wine glasses. Yeah, that's kind of, that's just glass. Any more Blanco? What's this? Oh, that's for tea. Oh. It's a tea mug. I think. <clears throat> I think you put your yeah, spoon in there or tea bag tea. when you're done. Yeah, tea bag. If that was handmade pottery, I would get it. Yeah, that's just like a mass produced. Hmm, tempted. <laughs> All right, we have a top to butter, chocolate. Oh, it has dogs all over it. That's cute. Hey, what about this bee? Ceramic. It's Italian or Portugal. Portugal with beads on it. Bees. <laughs> Not beads. Bees. They added a section. I feel like I've seen this before. Almost looks like it might be West Elm. Hmm. Those canisters, canisters home goods. made in China. It's still nice though. Yeah, I was hoping it would say Pier One or Pottery Barn. What about this? This, this is just for decoration. It's a clock. Oh, I wonder if somebody just made that, or if it was sold like that. Hmm. Interesting like the made in Mexico. Oh, it had the same frame as the velvet art. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was just looking at. Did the same thing. Oh my gosh. Let's we'll put these together. Yeah. Two wolves. Notice this in the case. We just took it out. It is Tiffany Co. Tiffany Seashore Bank for $8.99. So I think I'm going to try it for $9. What's in here? Some buttons. Yeah. Vintage. Vintage buttons. Are there any Bakelite? I don't know. I just kind of look through it quick. I don't really see anything. Yeah. I mean, we have a whole bunch of buttons at home that we have to list. Yeah. So I'm going to leave that. I'm definitely getting this though. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm going to show everybody some items that we got at an estate sale. Um, they let us go early before they um, even opened the estate sale. And then some items that we got from one of our lovely viewers that we saw at um, where we have our booth, the Antique Center. Um, let me start with this. I can't believe... Okay, so at the estate sale we got this Fenton and the Hofburr candlesticks and the vase for $30.00. Um, they just wanted to get rid of the stuff, so they made up a price. Um, I think they knew what this was, though. So this is Fenton. The color is Mulberry. And it is the 50th um, anniversary, 1946 to 1996. So I believe this was made in 1996, but the Mulberry is very, very valuable. Um, we have this listed for 142 um, I feel comfortable with that price because of the condition and will most likely accept a lower offer. So I got that. And then these. Um, this is German. I love the birds on this. Two candlesticks. Probably sell them for $30 to $40 each one. I'll probably do... I'll probably do like $50 for the set. And then I'm not going to sell these together um i'll do the vase separate but i knew what it was and i made sure that i look for chips or cracks and i know people like birds all right next i'm going to show everybody this art glass um i just looked this up this is made by josephina it's josephina with a z um it's made in poland she did a lot of colorful art glass i believe this is called the jellyfish jellyfish or octopus um i'm not sure what you put in that put whatever you want trinket but probably get for this size i believe it's five and a half inches you get about 40 to 50 dollars so i'm gonna list it for 50 only because there is no damage and the blue is a little bit harder to find the cobalt blue 
Next is uranium. Now this one does have a little chip down here, but uranium I always pick up, even if it is a little chip. Let me get my black light. All right, I got a little spooky in here. Here we go. Oh yeah. I love uranium glass. And that's the Hazel Atlas uh, mixing bowl. But this one, I feel like it's an antique, but I gotta do a little more research. I thought it glowed a little more. We ha I have the back, the light in the back on. <laughs> Spit it out, Jeremy. All right, I'll put that aside. You guys already saw the Hazel Atlas. Um, some cruel art. This one I like. I had to put nails on the sides to hold it in. Um, someone just had tape on it. But this one is cool. It has the bouquet of flowers and then a little bumblebee. I love it. And it has a wood frame. So I could probably get like $16, $18 for that. Here is some, I don't want to say cross stitch. That's needlepoint, I believe. Mickey Mouse. Got that from the viewer. Um, I just added that in because I know people like Mickey Mouse and it's handmade. Um, also, Tinkerbell and Jim Shore. Um, this is called a Love Seat. No damage on this. Um, I probably list, I believe I listed that for fit, um, $45. Right, and over here we have a geisha girl. She's holding an umbrella with some flowers. It does come with a box. Um, I have the box back there. It's a vintage box. Um, I feel like I could get like $20 or under for that. Um, over here is a pin cushion rocking chair. Um, this is just vintage. Is there a name on there? I just seen VIP C. Huh. But it even comes with a ladybug pin. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I don't think it sells for too much, especially if it's just vintage. Uh, but it has the blue velvet and it rocks. Whoops. <laughs> I could probably get like $10, $12 for that. And here's a vintage jewelry box. Oh, might need, might need two hands. There we go. I love this because it has butterflies. The inside is very clean. Usually um, when you see these, they're all torn apart up here. Um, I do have to clean it though. But it has the flowers. Oh, there's a name I forgot. Fashion by Farrington, um, made in USA. There's some damage on the bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna clean this up and list it. So I just listed the Blinko water pitcher for 50, I mean, sorry, 46, I believe. The Tiffany for 40 something. Um, and then the coasters, I still have the list. I wanted to find out who made them, but I love the pottery coasters. And over here is the Lambert um, crystal. Oh, and this, I found this in one of our piles that um, we have a box of stuff that wasn't listed yet. Have this old fashioned stapler. Um, I believe you get like 20 to $25 for that. I pay, I remember I paid $2 at an estate sale. <laughs> it's so weird how you can remember stuff like that. <laughs> and we just sold the Noritake play with the cobalt blue and the gold in this lovely scene. Um, I believe it's from one of our viewers. I knew this would sell once I saw it on the shelf, so I was like, come with me, please. <laughs> I also just listed this Valentine's Day decoration. Um, it, there's a saying on the inside. Let me open it. Um, it says, I believe, it says, Dear Maureen, from Grandma and Grandpa and Aunt Harfurfur, um, with lots of love. <laughs> I was hoping there was a maker on here. It just says Made in USA on the side. I'm not even sure how much I could get for it, but... I, I like it. If it doesn't sell for much, I'm keeping it for myself. Or I'll put it in the booth. <laughs> I 
and I also decided to just list these on eBay. You get four placemats, a hand crocheted with a uh, red poinsettias. Um, yeah, there's four of them. They, some of them do have a stain, which there is a way to get it out. I just don't really have time to, there we go. I don't have time to do that. <laughs> And here is a paperweight, this cute little squirrel. I actually really like squirrels. Um, it has a nice pink, um, and then the tail is clear. It does have a shiny bottom. It's not cloudy, so I could probably price this up a little bit higher. Um, probably 18 to 20 for that. It's cute. All right, we also got this Holy Bible case, and it comes with a Bible. It's wood. Um, there's some scratches. Yep, it has a hinge so you could put a lock there if you want. Let me open it up for you. Ah! There we go. I love, I love the inside of this. It has a picture of Jesus there. And then it comes with a Bible. I believe the Bible said 1962. Um, let me show you the back. It is marked Union Made. Um something carpenters i was hoping there was a year on that too it says limited edition so i'm gonna be listing this on ebay um tonight all right well i think that is it for tonight i have to start listing some of these items um don't forget to like comment subscribe and check out our whatnot store um i'm doing a pottery sale august 4th um I'm not sure if it's just going to be me or Michael, but I'm trying to find more pottery. I could always do these. Um, pottery, I mean um, art pottery or just hobbyist pieces. Um, pottery. So I got to see what I can put in the auction. And I'll see everybody next time. Bye.